from zero D1 offers out of high school to 21 points in his NBA Finals debut for the Celtics. This is the incredible story of Derek White. Derek has always been too small his entire life. This photo is of Derek as a freshman in high school. He weighed 100 pounds. That's the typical weight of a five foot tall man. He made the basketball team because the school was brand new and they didn't have anyone else to play. It's just true, I'm sorry. But by his senior year, Derek had a growth spurt to six feet tall and he led his team in scoring at 20 points a game. The problem is nobody wanted him. And I mean nobody. His dad even looked through like every single college roster in the country for schools that had a guard who was about to graduate. And the only team to respond was a coach at a cooking school. Seriously. They graduated more famous chefs than basketball players. His first big break though is when that cooking coach got a legit D2 job at Colorado Springs. Not a scholarship, but Derek got a spot on the roster. After he was drafted by the Spurs five years later, I actually got a chance to ask Derek why everybody doubted him. How does a guy who's a first round pick not have any D1 offers coming out of high school? How does that happen? Uh, I was undersized, so a lot of School shied away from me, uh, told me I was too small. A lot of D2 schools told me the same thing, so uh, it was definitely tough at that time, but when I eventually grew, I started to make some more noise. Yeah, and he actually grew to six foot four. When he combined that size with his skill, teams started to notice. Derek transferred to D1 Colorado, and he made so much noise, this dunk made ESPN's top plays. And in one season, he averaged 18 points, four assists, and four boards. Look at the names he made first team all conference with. Lonzo Ball, Lori Markinen, Markel Fultz, Kyle Kuzma. Derek was ready for the NBA. But first, I know a lot of people, including me, can get stressed out about saving and investing my money. I've heard a lot of people talk about investing in cryptocurrency, I'm not an expert in crypto. But then I learned about the sponsor of today's video, Stoic AI. They're a software that uses expert analysis and AI to manage your assets automatically. So Stoic saves time and money and provides stability. And they are legit. Almost 14,000 users. They manage $115 million in assets. And what Stoic does is it automatically diversifies your portfolio in the broad crypto market. The algorithm will only only trade assets on Binance with at least $10 million in trading volume. The AI just buys more of what will likely go up and sells coins that might go down. And what I really like is a certain portion of my assets are kept in USDT, which is tethered to the US dollar, so it's like an insurance policy. And I decide how much to keep aside in USDT. And due to market volatility, the guys recently released a market neutral strategy, fixed income. So for those who want Want stability, Stoic has that. The strategy was specifically developed for risk averse users. I'm one of those. So sign up now and be an early bird for that. Any accounts with over a hundred grand get Stoic Platinum automatically with a personal manager, lower fees, early access to advanced strategies. So check it out. Go sign up online or through their app. Connect your Binance account and enjoy automatic trading. Stoic is an official member of the Binance broker program, by the way. There is an annual four to five percent fee, but you can withdraw at any time. Honestly, for me, because I'm not a crypto expert, this seems like a no-brainer way to get myself into that market. And I've seen some people with amazing results, although, of course, all trading comes with some risk. So use my QR code or click the link in the description to sign up with Stoic AI and support the channel. Thanks so much to Stoic for sponsoring today's video. He was projected to be a second round pick in most mock drafts, so why not go to New York? Hear your name called by the NBA commissioner. What an amazing end that would be to his underdog journey. But instead, he stayed home so all the people who helped him get there could celebrate too. The Spurs made Derek a first round pick at 29th overall. Greg Popovich called him and the entire party got to watch Derek talk to his new Hall of Fame NBA coach. So surreal. Kid couldn't even dunk until his senior year in high school. The Celtics traded for him five years later, but there's a really good reason we didn't hear much about Derek White before that. 18 days after he was drafted, Tim Duncan announced his retirement. But no big deal, he still had an elite roster. LaMarcus Aldridge, Monte Ginobili, Tony Parker, Pau Gasol, Kawhi Leonard. That is an awesome team. 
It also meant that Derek barely saw the court. He played just 17 games off the bench, spent most of the year in the G League, and the next season, the Spurs imploded. Kawhi had beef with the organization and demanded a trade. They sent him to Toronto for DeMar DeRozan, Jakob Pertl, and picks. Tony Parker left the team for Charlotte. Manu Ginobili retired. What is going on? Derek got a lot more playing time is what's going on. 67 games in year two, playing 26 minutes a night. He scored 36 against the Nuggets in a playoff game. Now they lost that series and they still have not made it back to the postseason. And if you know anything about the Spurs, unless they're like in the finals, we don't hear a damn thing about them in the media. DeJounte Murray also emerged in their backcourt, so Derek went back to the bench, and he basically played for like four and a half years out of the spotlight. So how did that guy turn into the most important trade of the NBA season? Well, the Celtics needed a playmaker. They relied so much on Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown that people said they should break them up despite making three conference finals. Instead, they broke up the front office. Brad Stevens went from coach to GM, and they hired Derek's old assistant coach, Ime Udoka. Fans wanted to trade for like, you know, De'Aaron Fox or CJ McCollum, but they got Derek White. What? How is that the missing piece? I mean, yes, he's an upgrade over Dennis Schroeder, but he can't even shoot. He was 32% from three in San Antonio, and he got even worse in Boston. But even when his shot wasn't falling, Derek impacts the game. In the playoffs, only Al Horford and Jason Tatum have a higher plus minus. He has been so good on defense, like this block and steal against Steph in game two, his playmaking has been clutch. Filling in for Marcus Smart when he was injured and playing all but 48 seconds in their dominant game one fourth quarter. But he hasn't been great the whole playoffs. Something happened that changed everything. His wife gave birth to their first child during the East Finals. Before that, Derek scored seven points a game on 24% from three. Since then, 13 a game, 44% from deep with elite defense. And I'm not saying becoming a dad is what changed everything, like Fred Van Vliet in 2019 or AM Hoops in 2022. The difference is getting used to his surroundings. When he got there, he said, it took a while to even know the plays. It was kind of weird. They'd call a play and I'd be looking around like, where am I supposed to be? But his teammates just told him to be himself. They didn't care that his shot was inconsistent. They knew everything else he brought. The Celtics are built on defense. They have two all-stars on offense already. Derek maximizes all of that. So really, he was the trade that put it all together. He was the missing piece. Getting someone like De'Aaron Fox would have taken away from their identity, even though he's a max player. Derek fits everything they wanna do, and now four months after the trade, he is finally fitting in. So right now, I'm gonna play the entire interview that I did with Derek White. Honestly, that one clip was the only one that kind of organically fit in today's video. Everything else felt like I was trying to like awkwardly jam it in, but I just want you to see it because it's really cool to hear his story from his own perspective. Was your dream always to make it to the NBA or was it just to maximize whatever your potential was? Yeah, I mean, growing up, you watch the NBA and you want you want to be on that stage. But uh, when I got to college, I just wanted to maximize uh, my years there and uh, do whatever I can to help the team win there. Did you ever think about doing anything else? I mean, that whole time you were being doubted. Did you ever think, well, maybe I should give this up? Yeah, I mean, I thought about maybe just going to school at CU, uh, maybe just going to CSU and uh, learn some business or whatever I might have picked. So, yeah, I thought about it, but uh, I always knew I wanted to play. Derek White! I wouldn't be in the system without those people that were uh, in the room and uh, all the coaches I had from childhood to high school, the D2 coach, Coach Boyle, it, it, it all, it all uh, having them all in the same room and uh, I was really thankful that they all could come and all my family was there too, it was, it was great. So Coach Pop called you, now we've all seen the video, you've been asked about it, how emotional it was, right? What was Pop saying to you in that conversation? Uh, he was just saying that uh, he decided to work with me, uh, just watch the tapes, and uh, he's, re he's ready for me to get out here, and uh, he wanted to hear a little bit about my, my story. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think about going to New York? Did you want to? Yeah, I thought about it, but uh, just spending time with my family and sharing that moment with, with all of them, and, uh, I thought it would be better.
And then I read a quote where you said, never give up. If you can play, basketball will find you. What did you mean by that? Basketball is all over the world. Um, players come from different backgrounds, different cities. So um, if you can play and you can show that you can play, uh, basketball will find you and uh, you'll play wherever you want to play it. And for you, it's on the Spurs. Congratulations. Thank you.